A decade ago, Honda introduced the first Honda Ridgeline, and that vehicle was well received, especially for people looking for practicality and a lot of innovative features. But there was a little bit of a problem. That vehicle suffered a little bit of an identity crisis. Was it a car? Was it a truck? Well, for this year, well, this is 2017, it's all been changed. This is all new. It's got a new look, a lot of new innovative features, and it's bigger. We're here where everything's bigger, in Texas, to check it out. Well, there is no mistaking this new Ridgeline for a car anymore. This is definitely a truck now. Gone is what I called the tadpole look. I thought the first generation, even though it was a great car, it kind of looked a little like a toy, I thought. In the front, the grille is a little more detailed. You have some nice LED accents on the top and the bottom. The hood is nice and flat. Standard are 18 inch wheels on all models. There's a special black edition that is exactly that. Everything is black, including the 18 inch wheels and the grille and everything else. And that looks really cool. Onward to the back bed, that's where the biggest difference is. The old one had a fastback type of look and that, for some people, hampered on loading. If you were loading things through the side, it wasn't as clean and easy to load because of that. Now Honda is using a separate rear fender attached to the unibody. Remember, this is not based on a truck platform, but based on an SUV or the Honda Pilot platform. It really looks more like a cab on chassis truck now, even though it's not. As for size, everything is a little bit bigger and the wheelbase is also three inches longer. In my personal opinion though, I think it could use a little bit larger wheels. One of the best things of the original Ridgeline they've kept for the new generation, of course, and that is the dual action tailgate. You can swing it open here for easy loading for things near the back or just to get in, or you can use it as a traditional tailgate. Now, the rear bed area has been increased in size. It's four inches longer now. You can actually fit a four by eight piece of plywood or gyp rock in here. You have lots of tie downs as well. And also you have the hidden bed trunk here. And that was on the first generation, except they've improved it now. It's flatter on the bottom, so now you can fit more things into it. You can actually fit a full-size 84-quart wheeled cooler right in there. Or else, if you don't want a cooler, you can just fill the whole thing with ice and put your cold drinks there as well. There is a drainage hole. But for everyday use, it works great as a trunk. You can put luggage in here. A few golf bags will fit in here. I've got camera gear. There are actual slots for dividers and also hooks to put your bags as well. The new Ridgeline could be the ultimate tailgating machine right out of the showroom. Why? Well, the tailgate itself has two indents perfect for sitting in. Also, if you want to plug things in on the tire trim levels, there is a very high powered power inverter there. So you can plug in whatever you need. It's going to charge or power those. Uh, you can use the trunk area as a cooler. You can put drinks in there, ice in there. But the best thing, the first in the industry, it's something called bed audio. What they've done is they've converted the entire bed and made it into a speaker. It's fully sealed and uh, you can control it with Bluetooth with your phone. So you just play and you can control the volume right from your phone too. No need to get in and out. Just because the Ridgeline is not built the same way as a conventional pickup truck does not mean that it's not durable. The bed is made out of a composite material and the previous generation was as well, but this new one, you can't scratch. Check this out. And if you don't think it's as strong as metal, here's a whole load of heavy rocks being dumped directly right into the bed. Afterwards, no damage. Now the interior is completely redesigned and it really needed it. You gotta realize a decade ago when the Ridgeline came out uh, till now, it really hasn't changed. Lots of soft touch materials all around you. Uh, the Ridgeline really feels very spacious. You have a lot of storage in the glove compartment and in this middle console here. Now in the middle console as well, you have a conventional shifter. I'm glad they stuck with that instead of that push button system that can be found on some of their other products. In behind the steering wheel, which is heated by the way on this model, a 4.2 inch TFT display displaying 
uh, all the things that you need to know, including navigation directions. And speaking of navigation and technology, an eight inch screen on this model, including Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Now onto the back. In the back, the legroom is pretty decent. The backs are kind of a little bit upright. Uh, it'd be nice if they could recline a little bit more, but due to the shape of the vehicle, that's not possible. But uh, you do have a nice flat floor, which is great for loading things in and out. You can put large items like a TV or something like that. Now talking about loading things, the best thing about the Ridgeline are their magic seats, just like the Fit. You need to load tall items in or even like a bicycle uh, anything like that you just flip up voila just like that and we can do the other side as well if we need the new Ridgeline gets a new three and a half liter direct injected v6 engine putting out 280 horsepower which is up from 250 in the previous model and 262 pound feet of torque which is 15 foot pounds more but uh, one thing about this vehicle I'm going to tell you right off the bat when you get into this it first of all it does not feel like you're driving a truck the exterior looks like a truck it acts like a truck but it doesn't drive like a truck so that power is mated to a six-speed automatic transmission and that goes to the drive system is an all-wheel drive system which we get standard in Canada so all cars get all-wheel drive now even the all-wheel drive system has been revised now and that is that it's lighter and it's 45 percent quicker in uh, reacting to putting the power to what wheels need traction and for handling wise it also has torque vectoring and it's really noticeable we're driving uh, today we're driving on on the highway we're driving on real twisty uh, roads it's it's great this thing rotates beautifully uh, the brakes are just fabulous Honda brakes are always great I'm a big fan of Honda brakes this vehicle does share the same platform as the Honda Pilot but they definitely don't drive the same. First of all, the rear end is a little bit lighter, so it feels like it has a lot of get up and go, but it's also stiffer. This is over 20% stiffer than the previous model, and you can really tell. Suspension-wise, even though it is based on the same platform, they have re-engineered over 50% of the suspension parts for this, and it works so well. Now, when you put your foot into it, it's got a great, great sound. And at first I'm thinking, wow, this is this feels like you're driving like something like small, like a Civic or something. Uh, what I would like though, that does not have any manual shift mode uh, on the gear selector or on the paddles. And yes, this is a truck. You shouldn't need those, but since this drives so much like a car, it actually feels like it would be natural to have that. As for safety, the Ridgeline has tons of it. First off, it has Honda Sense. Now we saw that first on the new Civic where you get a host of features, safety features, including uh, lane keeping assist, lane departure warning, you have rear cross traffic alert, frontal collision mitigation, all that. And on the Ridgeline in Canada, from the base model all the way up, it comes standard. Also, the new Ridgeline is the only truck in its class to get a five-star rating from the NHTSA, which is the National Highway Transport Safety Association. Now talking about safety sense, one of the features I really do enjoy on all the Honda and Acura products, and that's the lane keeping assist system. It works very, very well. It's easy to use. Uh, it's great, you know, if sometimes if you're not paying attention or just for that little split second, uh, it really does keep you within the lane very well. Right now, as you can see, uh, it's working perfectly right now and it's keeping us within the lane for about 15 seconds, then you gotta put your hands back on. My only complaint about this system, though, and I've said this before, is I really wish that they would allow the system to be used at a slower speed, because this system does not allow you to use it until you're about 70K and over. And to me, that's a little bit fast, because sometimes your speed limits within uh, your city are 50, 60K, and it would be good to have that. Now, not just because you're not paying attention, but someone else coming toward you might not be paying attention. Another thing that adds to the experience is the quietness. This vehicle is super quiet. In fact, the entire vehicle is 75% more sealed, meaning there's, it lets less air in and less noise in. As you can hear right now, we have the air conditioning going. Um, we're on the freeway right now, but 
it's very quiet and that's due to the ceiling and of course that stiffness of that chassis everything all together just works in a really good package so what's it cost to get into ridgeline well it starts at thirty six thousand five hundred ninety dollars canadian and it goes all the way up if you get the top black edition uh to forty eight thousand five hundred ninety dollars now like I said, the base model itself, you get a lot of standard equipment, including that Honda Sensing, you get all wheel drive, you get the versatility, you get the practicality, and of course, you get the reliability of a Honda. So you have a pickup truck, what are you gonna do with it? Most likely, you'll put stuff in the back and maybe tow something. We studied our data and we found, we looked at all mid-sized truck users, um, everybody in the segment, and we found that 95% of all mid-sized users are using their car for the daily commute driving it to work, school, shopping, uh, things like that. So looking a little farther, we could see that less than 3% will ever tow. Tow rating for the new Ridgeline is 5,000 pounds. Uh, the example we have here today is a side-by-side -side and a quad all on one steel trailer. Um, it could also be a camper trailer, family-sized camper, or a boat. What can it hold? We offer best-in-class payload of 1,584 pounds. And the example that we have here today, it's a little tough to see, um, but we have 40 bags of mulch. So it, it completely loads the truck up and it's well within our spec. So we know the Ridgeline handles amazingly on the street. So let's take it off-road. So one really impressive thing is Honda has set out a whole bunch of different courses to really showcase what this Ridgeline is capable of. And we've done off-road, we've done towing, and uh, we're just gonna have a little fun with this right now. Good to go? Good to go. All right. Oh yeah. Now one impressive thing is the independent suspension is like, we've basically compared it, we went back to back with the Tacoma as well as the Colorado. And I'm telling you on these washboard type of uh, roads that we're on right now, there is zero, no comparison whatsoever. Now we're gonna try out the acceleration right now and braking on the street. All right. That's a real cop, by the way. All right. That's the best cop money can buy. There you go. We're good to go? Good to go. All right, here we go. To the floor. Now, the zero to 60 time is about a second and a half faster than the previous generation with this new motor. And the brakes, like I said before, I love Honda brakes. And we're just going to turn in back off road now and into some more field fun. Now, I don't think anyone's gonna drive their Ridgeline like we're driving these ones right now, but uh, it's just great to see that it really is capable. So if you're one of these that doubt the unibody truck, well, I'm here to tell you, you gotta try it out. The torque vectoring is amazing how it rotates and it gives you so much confidence. And the best thing like we talked about on the road, the quietness. Did you hear how quiet it was during this whole time when we were off-road? If you tow every day, this may not be the right vehicle for you, but for the majority of us, this fits in every category. You can use it to commute to work. You can use it for side projects. Go to the dump, go pick up plywood at Home Depot, whatever you want there. It can tow like you saw. And on the weekends, you can use it for putting your dirt bikes in, go camping, what have you. This really is a true all-around contender.